What's good, Curly Gang Thing? It's your girl Tay back with another video for you. And today's video is just going to be a twist out on my hair. I've actually never done a hairstyle like this. I'm going to be doing twist out on wet hair. And um, I'm going to make small sections and just leave it in like that for a couple of weeks. Being that we are in quarantine and I'm not going nowhere, usually I wouldn't wear my hair like this. If I was going out, I would kind of stretch it. But this is the healthiest way to do my hair or any hair, I feel like, because it's in the it's in a wet state and it's just going to dry up the way it's supposed to without any heat. So that's perfect. So I just starting by playing some nice music and we going to start working on this hair. <laughs> So I got some nice music going on and I'm just going to tangle my hair, well, section my hair into four sections and detangle my hair. My hair is very clumped together. It's been about three weeks since I did my hair. Uh, my hair started off in a blow dried state and now it is mushed up together and it has to be detangled. So this is what we're working with. You know, I haven't touched my hair since I blow dried it. And being that my hair is a thicker texture for B, for C, it likes to hug each other and just stick together. So this is gonna be a workout, but we could do it. Now I'm just gonna separate my hair into the section. And I'm doing this very cautiously because my hair is very easy to break. So when separating my hair, I just wanna make sure that everything is out of the way and I could just focus on one section at a time. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and like I said just be very careful when separating and detangling your hair in this state. When you get to a knot just like I did, stop and take your comb and try to take the knot out as is. Do not rip, do not tug, do not pull. You just create more damage and take out more of your hair than necessary. So you want to just go easy, take your time, be patient. This is what we all signed up for, okay? This is the process of natural hair. So just baby it and work through it. Now I always leave one section out in the back and I take some water and start spraying it just to prep my hair for being detangled. And we're just gonna work some water in there. And the first thing I like to do before applying any tool to my hair, like a comb or a brush, is finger detangle. My hair is so kinky and it sticks together so much that finger detangling is a must before I put anything in my hair. I'm trying to get all those knots out as much as I can so that the comb won't take out that much hair for me. So I just separate lightly as much as I can and then once I feel like I'm done separating, I use my comb, my uh, big tooth, wide tooth comb, and just detangle my hair to get the rest of the knots out. While I'm detangling, I also like to add just a little bit of coconut oil to um, pre-poo and loosen my hair up. Not just with water, but just add some oil in there to get it more softer and help with the detangling process. So now I'm finally taking my comb and detangling it to get all of the knots out. And y'all, I am still on the first subsection. Not even the first full section, the first subsection. So y'all know, y'all can see why wash day takes such a long time, especially with my hair type. I'm just getting through it. So <laughs> I'm trying to sing my way along.
just want to mention when I'm spraying the water in, I like to take both hands and squeeze the water in my hair to saturate it more because I do have low porosity hair. So when I spray water on, as y'all could see in previous clips, the water just sat on top of my hair. So when I squeeze it in, it just helps to get it into the hair shaft to uh, penetrate and moisturize. So now I'm taking this whole section and I'm going to twist it into two. You guys can see the coconut oil sitting on top of my hair due to low porosity. If you guys want to see me do a video about porosity, all about low porosity hair, I can. Just let me know in the comments. Please let me know if you want to see that because I will get that done for y'all. Now I'm just twisting up the section. I find that when I wash my hair in sections like this, it just makes the process way easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and twist and do about a good maybe 8 to 10 sections. So it is the next day. I did fall asleep with some deep conditioner in my hair. I didn't want to film the whole twisting process before I got in the shower. So I slept with the conditioner and then I rinsed it out and now I'm back and I'm about to perform the twist in small sections all over my hair. So right now I'm just drying my hair with a t-shirt. Always dry your hair with a t-shirt rather than a towel. The material that towels are made from can actually whip out your hair, especially if you have hair like mine. I don't know about finer hair, I'm assuming it's okay, but I would say across the board not to use towels at all. Use t-shirts. So I'm taking a small section in the back and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's fully detangled. My hands are running through it, gliding through it, no product is in it. I'm gonna take my um, leave-in conditioner, which is also a detangler. It is the best, the best conditioner detangler for my hair. This, I love, love, love this. This is an OG, ride or die. Always, always have this, have to have this. Smells good, detangles my hair in seconds. Now I'm taking my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie just to get that curl definition to stay. When I take my hair out, it's going to be really curly, going to be really soft, fluffy, and just going to be really cute. But this Curl Enhancing Smoothie brings out the definition. So this is my favorite cream to use with twist outs and braid outs. I'm taking a little bit of coconut oil and just locking in the cream. Um, I usually use a lighter oil like a grapeseed or jojoba oil but I don't have any and I'm not going nowhere so I don't really mind if the coconut oil is like you know a heavy oil but um, I do use a certain method to apply my products it just works best for retaining moisture. The method I use is called the curly girl method you can look that up for more information but if you want me to do a video on um, which method I use which is the LCO leave-in cream and oil let me know in the comments and I will do a full video detailed on that. Um, there's two methods actually it's the 
LCO or LOC. So it's basically just the C and the O is mixed up depending on which one you want to apply first. And I find that LCO works best for my product, for my hair. Um, you guys may think I'm doing too much when it comes to this natural life, but it really does work for my hair. It really just, it's the best way my hair retains moisture. Like I said, if you want a video on that, I got you. So now as you can see with my low porosity hair looking all scrumptious and juicy with these twists, um, this method it just works so bomb for my hair. Y'all can see that the product is still sitting on top, you can see some white still sitting in my hair, but I'm telling you after this dries up and my hair is taken out, the, the style lasts for a good week or two just for retaining length and retaining moisture in my hair. So I'm just twisting up my last one. Um, quick little two strand twist, nothing too crazy. Like I said, I'm not going nowhere. But this is the best way that I can style my hair after washing it because I'm retaining moisture. Um, the water and the products I added in is just all healthy for my hair instead of just trying to stretch it and apply heat. And your girl is all done that completes this look. I'm gonna do a quick 360 for y'all so y'all can see all these twists hydrated, moisturized, detangled, just looking good and healthy. Curls is no heat damage, baby. No heat damage, no product damage, no chemical, nothing. Just all healthy, natural, kinky, beautiful hair. Uh, and that is it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos. I love to do hair education and just inform you guys on how to take care of your hair in the best way possible in this natural state. Embrace it. Love it. You only get one. And see you in my next video. Bye. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it.